Changdeokgung Palace is one of the five grand palaces of the Joseon Dynasty in Seoul, built in 1405 by King Taejong. It served as one of the primary residences for the Joseon kings and is particularly significant for being the longest used royal palace in Korea's history. Changdeokgung is a UNESCO World Heritage Site recognized for its harmonious blend of architecture with the natural landscape. One of its most famous features is the beautiful Secret Garden, or Hyuan. This garden was a private retreat for the royal family, and its design follows the natural terrain, showcasing the balance between human-made structures and nature. The palace was not just a residence, but a center for various activities, including politics, ceremonies, and academic pursuits. Notable areas include Heijongdang and Naxionje, which reflect the architectural styles of the time. The layout of the palace, along with its aesthetic and cultural significance, makes it a symbol of the artistic and technical achievements of the Joseon era. Because of its historical and cultural value, Changdeokgung Palace is a must-visit destination for anyone looking to understand Korean history and appreciate the beauty of traditional Korean architecture. Changdeokgung Palace became a UNESCO World Heritage Site due to its exceptional architectural style which harmonizes with the surrounding natural environment. Unlike other palaces that were built with a more rigid and formal design, Changdeokgung was constructed to adapt to the natural terrain, making it unique and innovative for its time. This seamless integration of architecture and nature reflects the Confucian philosophy of balance and harmony, which was central to the Joseon dynasty's values. The palace's Huan secret garden is a perfect example of this as it was designed to preserve the natural beauty of the landscape. Around Changdeokgung, several traditional Hanok villages, such as Bukchon Hanok village and Ixian Dong, are still bustling with life. These areas preserve the historical charm of Seoul with their narrow alleys and traditional Korean houses. During the mid 20th century, people who had worked in the royal palace started opening businesses in this area. Some established hanbok boutiques, traditional Korean clothing stores, and restaurants, contributing to the vibrant cultural scene surrounding the palace. Nearby, Insidong, known for its art galleries, traditional tea houses, and craft shops, is a hotspot for tourists and locals alike. Donhua Munro, the street in front of Changdeokgung's main gate. Donhua Mun is also lined with old buildings and provides a glimpse into the historical layout of Seoul. These neighborhoods around Changdeokgung offer visitors a unique blend of Korea's past and present, making it a culturally rich area to explore. In Changdeokgung Palace, a splendid event was recently held, reenacting a royal banquet to celebrate the king's parents' birthdays. This event allowed visitors to experience royal court culture with traditional dances and performances, recreating the grandeur and artistic elegance of the Joseon Dynasty's royal ceremonies. Both Changdeokgung Palace and Jongmyo Shrine are designated as UNESCO World Heritage Sites, and both continue to host authentic ceremonies that have been passed down from the Joseon era. At Jongmyo, the Jongmyo Jerry, a royal ancestral ritual is performed annually. This ritual is also recognized as a UNESCO intangible cultural heritage, preserving the tradition of offering tribute to the past kings of the Joseon dynasty. Alongside the ceremony, the Jongmyo Jeriak, traditional court music performed with ancient instruments, is played and is also listed as a UNESCO intangible heritage. These events at Changdeokgung and Jongmyo not only showcase the rich history of the royal family, but also keep the traditional culture alive making them historically and culturally significant landmarks. Changdeokgung Palace was more beloved by the royal family than Jiangbokgung for several historical and geographical reasons. After Jiangbokgung was destroyed during the Japanese invasions of Korea in the late 16th century, Changdeokgung became the main royal residence. While Jiangbokgung remained in ruins for a long period, many kings lived and governed from Changdeokgung, making it the primary palace for the royal family. Another reason for its popularity is the unique architectural style of Changdeokgung, which is harmonized with the natural landscape. Unlike Gyeongbokgung, which has a more formal and rigid layout, Changdeokgung was built to blend with the surrounding terrain, creating a more relaxed and comfortable atmosphere. The palace's Huwan, 
or secret garden, was a favorite retreat for the king and queen where they could enjoy nature and find peace. This natural and serene setting made Changdeokgung especially appealing to the royal family. The difference between Jeongbokgung and Changdeokgung lies in their purpose and design. Jeongbokgung, as the main palace of the Joseon dynasty, symbolized the power and authority of the state. It was designed with strict symmetry and grandeur to represent royal dignity. In contrast, Changdeokgung's layout is more flexible, adapting to the natural landscape, and emphasizes harmony with nature. While Jeongbokgung was the symbolic center of the dynasty, Changdeokgung became the practical living space where many important events in royal history took place. In essence, Changdeokgung offered a more intimate, nature-connected environment compared to the formal and ceremonial atmosphere of Jeongbokgung, which is why it was so cherished by the Joseon royalty. The reason why some of the buildings in Changdeokgung Palace feature Western-style interiors from the late 19th century is tied to the historical context of Korea's gradual acceptance of Western culture and technology during that time. In the late 19th century, as Joseon opened up to diplomatic relations with Western countries, Western culture and technology began to influence various aspects of Korean society, including the royal court. During the reigns of King Gojong and King Sunjong, Western-style elements were introduced into the royal palaces, reflecting the country's efforts to modernize and embrace new influences. In Changdeokgung, buildings like Daejojeon and parts of Heijongdong were furnished with Western-style furniture and interior designs, creating a distinct contrast to the traditional Korean architectural style. The incorporation of Western interiors was part of the royal court's interest in modernization, aiming to integrate the practicality and comfort of Western innovations into palace life. This blend of traditional Korean palace architecture with Western elements represents an important historical transition, symbolizing the changes Korea underwent as it navigated through the challenges of modernity in the late Joseon period. From 1910 to 1945, the Korean royal family faced the unfortunate fate of being incorporated into the Japanese imperial family. Under the system known as Yiwangjik, the Korean Yi royal family was given the title of king, a rank beneath the Japanese emperor. One of the most notable figures from this period is Crown Prince Yi Eun, Young Chin Wang, who married Lady Yi Bangja, known as Princess Masako, through an arranged marriage with the Japanese imperial family. This couple lived in the Naxion J building in Changdeokgung Palace until 1989, marking the continued royal presence in the palace well into the 20th century. After Lady Yi Bangja's passing in 1989, Changdeokgung ceased to be a royal residence. However, the palace still holds the memories of the Joseon dynasty and its royal family. Despite this, the cultural influence of the royal family's interior design and lifestyle has spread even further making positive contributions to the preservation of Korea's heritage. This enduring cultural significance is part of what makes Changdeokgung so attractive and meaningful today. In Changdeokgung Palace, one of the most expensive buildings features a blue-tiled roof. While most Korean palace roofs are typically gray, the Seonjeon building in Changdeokgung stands out with its turquoise blue tiles. At the time, the royal family desired this distinct blue color instead of the traditional gray, but due to the high cost and the perception of extravagance, the royal ministers opposed it. However, Seonjeongjeon was the only structure that retained this unique blue roof. Recently, in Jiangbokgung Palace, large quantities of blue roof tiles from before the Japanese invasions of Korea, Imjin War, were excavated, making the excavation site resemble a turquoise mine. This discovery provided further evidence that blue tiles were indeed used in palaces during that period. To visit Biwan Secret Garden in Changdeokgung, you must purchase an additional ticket separate from the general entrance ticket, meaning you will need two tickets in total. Since there is a limit on the number of visitors allowed, once the quota is reached, entry is restricted. 
Therefore, it's recommended to reserve tickets online in advance to ensure availability.